Hello YouTubers, it's Chrissy with Three Musketeers Homestead. Just got done finishing our Harbor Freight greenhouse. It's a six and a half by eight and a half um, size. And we worked on it Saturday and Sunday last week. And as you can see, it is complete. I'm gonna take you inside and show you what we've done with it. The door isn't the best right now. I'm working on getting that a little bit tighter, but it does, it does work. It seals up good. It seems like it's a little bit warm in here right now, but it's only like a cool 35 degrees here in Michigan. This is the inside here. Comes with two window vents. As you can see right there, locks in. Hopefully I'll be able to get some vent openers pretty soon because it's gonna start warming up pretty soon. And I just started on some shelving right here, and that's going to be for another video. One thing I will say about this Harbor Freight Greenhouse, it's pretty sturdy so far from the reviews. You know, it only has three and a half stars on the website. Um, the only thing that was the biggest pain, which I watched plenty of videos before we put this together, um, is putting extra bolts in certain ones that, um, for like the cross members right here. You have, to put extra, you have to slide an extra bolt inside this one. You have to slide extra bolts inside the ones for the vents. So it's something that's easy to forget. Another thing to remember is um, it comes with two sided peeling. Like one side's white, one side's clear. Make sure you get the other side um, in you can see it. This window vent right here I'm going to take apart today because I can see it has some creases on the outside and that means that um, there is still plastic on this one. Are all the other ones look good. Um, we did put this on a 10 inch, um, 2 by 10 um, board on the bottom and then a 2 by 6 board laying flat around, leveled it up with some sand, put some pea stone down. Still need about 5 to 10 more bags of that because it should be going over the lip to hold it down um, to secure it to the ground. So. At first, when we started putting this together, well, it was it was intense. It, the the wind was going a little bit. I recommend you don't put it together when the wind is going. Um, we uh, struggled with holding it, embracing it, missed a few steps in the directions because um, we had to hurry up and put more things up so it would stand up. So that's like the only downfall to it. You think it's like really chintzy when you're putting it together, but it does come together. It becomes really, really stable. I'm very excited about it, and I'm glad that we did it. Um, I probably have, oh, like $60 into the wood on the bottom, and then with brackets and braces and everything, um, it came to, you know, 80 bucks because I had in my screws and uh, L brackets. And if you look down here in the corner, I think you can see in the corner. Um, I have L brackets, L brackets on the bottom, L brackets in the corners, L brackets holding this together right here. See? I'm hoping I, that showed up in the video. It's kind of hard to do it with a cell phone. I'm hoping to get better equipment sometime soon. <laughs> That'd be really nice. But that is our Harbor Freight six and a half by eight and a half greenhouse. We put it between our um, crazy garage that we need to side in our house because of the wind and back over here we have a farm field and there's like a wind blocking row of trees or swamp back there which helps block the wind some it gets really windy here because we're surrounded by farm fields right now so and then this is the other side of it one thing I will mention is that I don't know if you can see them very well the brackets right there we put, I bought extra brackets. They look like this, they're a little bit different, but I bought them on Amazon. I'll be able to link that below. Um, extra hundred of them, they're stainless steel for like $14.99. So I do recommend putting in the extra brackets. I think they only allow like three brackets. Um, there's 140 pieces that come, so they only have three brackets going on each panel. And I probably have five or six. Um, going on one side. I wanted to make sure these panels weren't going to blow away. One other thing up here, um, we didn't get the brackets in, so I'm going to get on the ladder 
and fill those empty spaces in there in before I start building the shelving because I think it'll be a little bit harder to fit in there once I get both sides of the shelving done. So I am going to let you guys go for now and I'm going to work on the shelving and then you'll see that in the, in the coming up video. So it was good talking to you YouTube. This is my first actual face to face video and I'm hoping there's a lot more to come. I really enjoy um, living this homestead lifestyle and we're, we're just getting started. So kind of exciting. The best is yet to come. Well, I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.